So today we'll look at another refractive error, which is called uh, astigmatism. So this is basically um, a refractive error that is a bit different from what we looked at previously, that is myopia and hyperopia. And ideally, um, we talked about your refractive uh, surfaces, uh, like the cornea and the lens, which are the two most important. Uh, so normally these uh, surfaces of the cornea and the lens uh, have a very good curvature or a smooth curvature. And the purpose of this is to basically be able to refract light uh, evenly uh, so that they have a sharp focus at the focal point of the retina. So uh, this can be problematic with some people. So, and you find that the cornea or the lens isn't as smooth or doesn't have the smooth curvature as it is required. Therefore, the light will not be bent or refracted uh, to a specific focal point as you expect. So this is the problem that now we call astigmatism, um, a, a refractive problem that results from an alteration in the curvature of either the cornea or the lens, and ultimately le leading to us having um, several focal points of uh, convergence of light, and therefore having a visual or image di uh, distortion or even blurry image. So we can have different types, and I've already mentioned some if you are paying attention. So we can have a problem with the cornea and we have corneal astigmatism. So this is when the cornea, the curvature of the cornea is not as um, smooth as it is supposed to be. So you find that it is not as uniform or it is a bit ragged. Therefore, the, the bending of light will not happen um, appropriately or to one focal point. The other type we have is lenticular astigmatism. Now, this is the problem with the curvature of the lens. So sometimes the lens itself might not have the very good curvature it's supposed to have for bending of light. Therefore, if it is a bit asymmetrical or it is not curved in the right way, we find that we form a distorted image uh, be, uh, because of the different focal points. Then apart from the two main ones, we can, have, we can also classify astigmatism as either regular or irregular. And regular is where the curvature is uniformly different, okay? in uh, the, the meridians, especially at the angles to each other. So yes, it is not uh, curved in the smooth way, but it is uneven, but uniformly, okay? Then you have irregular astigmatism. Now that is a curvature that is uh, irregularly uniform. Uh, it's ir irregularly not uniform. So the curvature is so ragged, and that is what we call now irregular astigmatism. So the effect of any of those um, types we, we, we have just discussed is that light is not refracted at one focal point, so in different direction. So the focus point on the retina cannot be achieved because of the several focal points. So this is what normally we should have. The cornea and the lens uh, bending light and focusing at one focal point. But as you can see, in this case of astigmatism, you have um, different focal points where light is focused. Therefore, the image will not be as clear as, as we want. So there are certain factors that uh, predispose one to this. Normally we have um, inheritance or family history. So if somebody in the family had the history of um, astigmatism, we might have the same problem. Droopy eyelids, uh, sutures, to, sutures, and basically having any history of uh, eye surgery that might have distorted, for example, the cornea or its curvature. Uh, scars from, a, for example, trauma that happened on the eye. And then you have a condition that is called keratoconus, where basically the cornea uh, becomes cone-shaped instead of the normal curve. So it becomes cone-shaped, therefore that will affect the refraction. So diagnosis basically of um, astigmatism is done through comprehensive eye exam. So the, the first test is visual acuity tests using a simple snail and chart. And uh, we'll be able to see um, a distorted or blurred uh, figures on, on the snail lens chart. Then there's a refraction test that is done using a machine uh, that is called the optical refractor. And we have kera uh, keratometry, which measures the curvature of the cornea. And the, 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 the instrument that is used to do that is a keratometer. Uh, so the clinical picture, we've already alluded to this. We expect to see blurry, distorted, uh, fuzzy vision, and it's because of the different focal points we're having on the retina. So as you can see, this is in a normal eye, uh, but this is an eye with astigmatism, 
and you can see how blurry the image is. Uh, this other image is showing the distorted kind of image you might get or warped a kind of image and it's because of the different focal points we're having. So apart from that, we might have eye strain, headaches, squinting to try to see clearly and other eye uh, discomfort. So management is quite simple. Um, basically, refractory glasses or contact lenses might be used. So this, the purpose of these uh, either lenses or glasses is to compensate for the uneven uh, curves. So the glass will actually compensate for that. That is after they have done the diagnosis and seen where exactly we are having that unevenness. If it is um, an extreme case of astigmatism, then surgery is, uh, is done on the cornea uh, using the LASIK uh, surgical intervention um, to actually try and reinstate the curvature of the, the, curvature of the cornea. Okay, so thank you.